Coogan Cash is for IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. We're in Wolverhampton for the uh, Frankie Gavin versus Leonard Bundy. Weigh in with me. I've got Frankie Gavin. Just weighed in. All good, Frankie. Great, yeah. Uh, perfect spot. Huh? Woke up this morning, panned over, just chilled out. He dropped off. Absolutely. How uh, do you think of the shape of, of Bundy there? Yeah, he's good. You, you know, not, you know, not, they're like the black people, they're normally are in better shape anyway, but he's a decent shape there, but it doesn't matter, does he look a dent? Like the other fighters, I thought. Yeah, they're in good shape, which is about what we do on our now. He's obviously been here before when he's fought Lee Hurdy, uh, but this is going to be a completely different situation coming against you. Yeah, most definitely, yeah. Look at Hurdy, comes forward, guard up, take shots to land shots. I'm not that silly, I don't do that. A box and then make people miss. I might get them frustrated and then I let my own go. So uh, the fight gonna got my pace up for them. I do what I do. I'll be taking them apart. Did you watch the Lee Birdie fight? Yeah, I did. From about eight round onwards, I thought Birdie was winning. Oh. I thought he was comfortably winning. He was just like, kick, and I thought he was getting to him as well. But fair play to Bundy, changed his tactics and took over. But he seems very confident coming here that you know he's going to retain that belt. Of course he's not going to come here and say he's not, he's not going to, is he? He's not going to talk himself down. He's a proven champion, he's a good fighter. I'm a great fighter, I'm going to say he's not. Obviously, um, Billy Joe Saunders, uh, who won the GP squad with years ago, won his European title recently, uh, last week, in fact. So it's coincidental that you're going for this this week, so it could be a great time for both of you to. Could be, yeah, hopefully it will be. Yeah, he's done the business. I'm fighting like someone at the high level in Bundo, I think. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm up there. Really. This, this is higher than he up here and fighting my arms. This could easily be a world title in that. No doubt about it. We both ranked high in a few of the security organising bodies. Uh, it's probably better than that, but at the end of the day, I'm coming to take the European belt tomorrow. Obviously, listen, I'm not going to talk ahead of you European title fight, but you, 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 know, you must be closing in on some sort of shot at some sort of eliminator for at the world stage. Well, if, if I win this, I'll probably take Bundy number three. Uh, WBO number five, so that's going to go up probably. I've been told it was up to one if I win this. Or what, I don't know. Uh, he's WBC number four, so I should go for right now. I'm already WBA number three or four, so I'm ranked high. The titles are going to come. All right, well, listen, I know you just waited, so you just want to get off, but I'll... Uh, no, I'm all right, mate. You're all right. <laughs> it's all right. I don't mind talking to you. You ask normal questions. All right, well, do people aggravate you on the thing? Sometimes. Do I'm not going to mention no names, but sometimes. You can mention these names tomorrow after your fight, if you want, yeah, after you've got that European title. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, um, like I said, back in around your home area, I know you're from, from Walton, Birmingham, but it should be a great night tomorrow night. Yeah, I think I've done about 600 tickets. Other boxers give me tickets, and I could have doubled that, definitely. But, uh... It is what it is, it's, a, it's in my hometown more or less. So I should have most of the fans here cheering me on. So expect a big night. Alright, well listen, I'll let you get on. Thanks for talking thanks to IFL TV and uh, we'll catch up with you after your fight tomorrow. Awesome. Alright, thank you very much. Brilliant. Cheers.